Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Football Manager 2019 here today on the channel. We have another experiment slash simulation video. What if Zinedine Zidane was the new Manchester United manager? What would happen if he was appointed? Here today, we're going to find that out. So, I'm going to simulate three seasons with the Football Manager engine and see what we can come up with. So guys, if you want to see more Football Manager on the channel, leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here. Let me know in the comment section down below feedback and suggestions for this series. We've already done a test with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and Pochettino. In the uh, Ole Gunnar uh, save, he managed to win the UEFA Champions League within three seasons. Uh, in the last, that is. We managed to test with Pochettino, and it was tumultuous, to say the least. In the second season, he did win the EFL Cup, but he got dumped out of the Champions League twice and didn't qualify twice in a row. And then Manchester United brought in Carlo Ancelotti in the third season. It went a little bit crazy, that one, so I do recommend watching that video. And uh, Carlo, in his third season, managed to pick up the FA Cup. But we're going to be playing with Zizou here today. We're going to be having a look at him, rather. I've gone into the back end of the Football Manager engine and made him the official Manchester United manager. So let's see how he performs in three seasons. Players he's going to sign, his sort of formation and tactics, and see how many pieces of silverware he can pick up. Okay, guys, welcome to Season 1. It's the 1st of February, 2019. So let's see, after two full transfer wins, who Zinedine Zidane has brought in and sold. So, he spent £150 million, pounds, the, the least amount, I would imagine, from the other two. So, we've brought he's brought in Maro Icardi for £99 million. Pounds. Ryan Bertrand as well from Southampton for £31 million. Pounds. Crazy to see that he's joined. And we've also signed Victor here from Dynavo, Dynamo. In the uh, in Russia for 25 million pounds here. Jesse Lingard was sold to Chelsea for 40 million pounds. Marcus Rojo was sold to Leon for eight. Andres Pierre was sold to Everton. Matteo Damian was sold to Newcastle. And Marwan Fellaini was sent on loan to Crystal Palace. So in season one under Zinedine Zidane, this is the squad that lined up for the majority of the season. Zidane deployed a 4-1-4-1 with Mauro Icardi up top, Alexis Sanchez on the left-hand side, Juan Mata on the right, Matic, Pogba and Scott McTominay in the midfield, Valencia, Luke Shaw, Lindelof, Bay and David De Gea in goal, with Lukaku, Delo, Gardner, uh, Garner, sorry, Rashford, Gomez, Bertrand on the bench. So after one full season in the Premier League, unfortunately Manchester City won with 81 points. Just shy of Arsenal drawing as well on 81 points in second. Liverpool in third with 77. Chelsea in fourth with 75. Manchester United in fifth with 72. So unfortunately Zinedine Zidane did not qualify for Champions League football in the next season. So we will have Europa League. Tottenham finished in, in fifth. But Watford... Managed to break 7th. But there's been a huge upset in the relegation scrap. Cardiff, Fulham and Everton got relegated. Burnley, Wolves and Newcastle are surviving the drop. But a huge Liverpool club in Everton getting relegated. It's going to be crazy to see if they're ever going to bounce back up. So after a disappointing first Premier League season, let's see how Zinedine Zidane did in the cup competitions. So unfortunately, we were knocked out in the fifth round by Newcastle in the FA Cup. We managed to get knocked out in the third round by Leicester in the Carabao Cup. However, in our first season as Manchester United manager, Zinedine Zidane reached the final of the UEFA Champions League and lost by the small and narrowest of margins by Inter Milan. So we've seen some progress in this first season, but unfortunately, as a consequence, we were knocked out to the Europa League. So let's see uh, a hopeful improvement in Season 2 under Zinedine Zidane. Okay, guys, how are you all doing? Welcome to Season 2 of the Zinedine Zidane regime. 
It's the 5th of June 2020. So, Zinedine Zidane has spent a whopping £260 million, £100 pounds more than last season. However, he has sold £98 million, pounds, and there's some controversial sellings. So, Milinkovic Savic from Lazio is signed for £75 million. Pounds. Emery Chan from Juventus is signed for £45. We've raided Monaco here for close to nearly £100 million. Pounds. Ronnie no Lopez from Monaco for £45. Sadibi from Monaco as well for £45. 44. However, Eden Hazard has made the jump to Manchester United for £41 million. Pounds. And we've also signed a Mexican player by the look of it for £12 million. Pounds there. Okay, Marcus Rashford has been sold to Chelsea for £55 million. Pounds. Uh, that would blow my mind if that happened. There's no way Marcus Rashford is going to Chelsea in real life, regardless. You never know. It might be an improvement. We, he might be able to win a piece of silverware this season with Eden Hazard at the helm. So, and Herrera was sold to Leon, Smalling to Atletico Madrid, Fellaini to Porto, and Lee Grant going to Bristol City. So let's see how Zinedine Zidane did in Season 2 in the Premier League. So, unfortunately, Manchester City won. They've won three back-to-back -back Premier League titles. 86 points. <coughs> oh, those bloody Manchester City <laughs> oh, fucks. They're giving me cancer. Holy shit. That was quite funny. I might leave that sneeze in. Oh, those fuckers winning three back-to-back -back titles. They're making me sick. Right. Everton finished in second with 84 points. Manchester United, we managed to finish in third with 81 points, drawing with Pot uh, Pochettino's Tottenham. Zinedine Zidane managed to get Champions League football for the third and final season. Arsenal in fifth. Chelsea in 6th, and Bournemouth making it up in 7th. Now, another, another huge club has been relegated. West Ham and Everton have been relegated. That's crazy. Uh, Middlesbrough and uh, Aston Villa going down as well. So this is the squad in Season 2 that Zinedine Zidane is playing. He's still deploying his 4-1-4-1 diamond wide. Alexis Sanchez is the key forward with Eden Hazard on the left and Ronnie Lopez on the right. Pogba and Savic in the midfield with Emery Chan holding. Sidibe, Bay, Lindelof and Bertrand in the defensive line along with David De Gea on, uh, in, in goal. So in the cup competitions for Zinedine Zidane this season, we were unfortunately knocked out in the quarterfinals of the Europa League by Borussia Dortmund. Sorry, Borussia Mönchengladbach. Uh, in the FA Cup, we were knocked out by Bournemouth in the third round. And in the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup, we were knocked out by Stoke City. However, we have Champions League football back. So two seasons in, Zinedine Zidane has not, hasn't done anything major to say the least. In the first season, he did have that runners-up medal in the UEFA Champions League, but this is it. The third and final season to make your mark. Will you become a legend like Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in that first experiment and win the Champions League, or will you crumble into ruin like Pochettino? Okay, guys, it's the 2nd of June, 2021. Now, in our third season, after two full transfer windows, Zinedine Zidane has gone all out, and Ed Woodward and the board has backed him. £300 million have been spent with 200,000 outgoings. Lewis Cook was signed from Bournemouth for £83 million. Uh, um, up M. Cano, I, I don't know. He's a pretty good midfielder from what I can remember. He's a defender. He's French. Uh, £55 million. Imbolo was signed from Schalke for 57 Bruno Fernandes was sold uh, was signed by sold signed from Real Madrid for 38 million pounds. Rabiot was signed for 36 and Nathan Ake was sold for 32. Now, there was some massive transitions here. I I'm kind of surprised. I don't know why Manchester United are sort of a a bit of a feeder club for Chelsea in this save. So, Milinkovic Savage was sold for Chelsea to, for, to, to Chelsea for £75 million. Romelu Lukaku as well for 59 Eric Bailly was sold to Real Madrid for 37 Fred was sold to Torino for 10 uh, Martic has been sent to China for £9 million. And Scott McTominay has joined Red Bull 
New York in America for 3.1. So in season three of the Manchester United career under Zinedine Zidane, unfortunately Manchester City won again with 93 points. Liverpool in second with 83, Arsenal in third with 80. And United in 4th with 76, Chelsea in 5th with 74, Tottenham in 6th with 74. Newcastle breaking into that top 7, Stoke, Fulham and Derby have been relegated. Everton have come back up, but West Ham still seem to be absent. Pep Guardiola and Manchester City have won 1, 2, 3, 4 back-to-back titles. Let's see how Zizou did in the cup competitions. But before we do that, we need to see the squad. So, Akadi is still the main man up top, replacing Sanchez. Lopez on the right, Hazard on the left, Pogba, Fernandez, Emery Chan in the midfield, Sudibi, Lindelof, Luke Shaw, and David De Gea in goal. So in the third and final season, we were knocked out in the semi-finals of the UEFA Champions League by Liverpool. In the FA Cup, we were knocked out in the final by Liverpool as they won. And in the third round in the EFL Cup, we were knocked out by Arsenal. So after three Manchester United experiments, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer was the most successful, winning the Champions League in his third season. Pochettino unfortunately, even though he won some domestic cups, was ultimately sacked and Zinedine Zidane failed in his ambition. He did make Champions League football rather but his biggest achievement was a runner-up in the Champions League and two domestic run-ups as well. So maybe Zinedine Zidane was more unlucky than anything. But unfortunately, guys, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching this Football Manager simulation slash experiment. I want to do more Football Manager content on the channel and pump out new FIFA in the new year as well. So let me know in the comments uh, series suggestions. Thanks, guys. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below players you would like me to sign. If you're not enjoying the series, feel free to leave a dislike. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box these days to get all the notifications for the channel. You have to click subscribe, of course, and the bell to join the notification squad. I do enjoy reading those comments. If you guys want to get yourself some cheap and reliable games, maybe some PSN and Xbox codes to buy packs for Ultimate Team, or maybe just some games, I really do recommend checking out my affiliation link, G2A. There's some really good prices, so even just going looking around, to be honest. Anyway, uh, the Patreon Sting Group there as well. Come and join the community on Steam. My name has been CMC. Stay tuned for more videos on the channel. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been CMC. Goodbye. Mares whips it into the box. Royce! That is just ridiculous. With the layup, Marco Royce.